I'm the Ahmed Sueb. Yes, Today I met George Floyd. And that chance encounter left me feeling very annoyed. I smiled and said hello to him. But he remained still. His countenance was grim. He was tall and chiseled, his skin copper brown. He was seated on a bench with his feet anchored firmly to the ground. His left arm was extended as he stared straight ahead. He was so lifelike, nothing about, about him implied that he was dead. The day was cool, so I offered him a warm drink. But George remained pensive as he continued to think. I thought to myself, maybe he was hungry, so I asked if he wanted to share a meal with me. George remained stoic, looking even more pensive. I told him whatever he wanted, I would try to give. He did not move or blink an eye. Frustrated at this silence, I let out a sigh. I was determined from George to get a reply, and his reason for sitting on this bench, I wanted to know why. His bronze uneven skin invited me in. in enchanted, I moved closer to him. I rested my head comfortably against his chin. For his heartbeat, I listened intently, but there was none, unfortunately. Just then, I was engulfed with dread of the reality that George was dead. I realized that all the dreams he had, to be a nurturing and loving dad, to grow old with his siblings, to dance with his, and to dance and uh, his convertible be driving, an image of how he met his demise flashed before my eyes. I said, George, I wish that I was there. I would have ensured that you had gotten some air. I'm sorry, George, for the racism that made it comfortable for chauvinism to unjustly take your life and in the community create social strife. I continued resting my head on his bosom comfortably. For a brief moment, George Floyd was my daddy. Today, I met George Floyd. That chance encounter left me feeling very annoyed. In peace. I can't cry. Yes, I can't cry. I don't have time to linger in one emotion for too long. Happy, sad, upset, reminiscent, or just, yes, just pure tears of joy. There are so many moving parts, and I fear if I sink too much emotion into one thing, yes, one thing, I'll become lost. So many things depend on me to be this statuous figure, bond, yes, bond into the minds of everyone I meet. Come on. To be that thing, that substance, that inspiration that might be broke inside of them. So I cry and sigh. Yes, I cry and sigh. Filling up wells, yes, wells of bottomless remorse for people that just tried to hang on too long. It's not you. No, it's not you. It's definitely me. See, I never learned how to attach. I've always been bounced from one situation to another before my synapses could fully adapt and take heed to the environment and understand that they were real. Yes, real. So I smile, yes, I smile. Because in that crooked grin, I give you every, yes, every emotion I wish I could say out loud. My fear, my pain, my love, my loss, my joy, and every, yes, Every emotion has encapsulated the growth of me in those few ugly whites. So I don't cry in front of people. 
No. I don't cry in front of people. But if you saw my tears, yes, if you saw my tears, you are blessed and cursed. Because those few, yes, those few precious moments of vulnerable insecurity are something I don't show the world. Uh, no. That, yes, that is the ultimate form of trust I can give. Not lies, ha <laughs> ha, jokes, stoic nature, or the ability, yes, the ability to connect with all of you, even in just a few moments. But the liquid, just the liquid that drips from my face. When the wells, yes, the wells overflow, and I just need a moment. Come on, man. Thank you for this Woo! moment. I took a trip to heaven one day. Okay. I took a trip to heaven. La 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 la. I took a trip to heaven. It all started one day. Warehouse in Chicago. Biz transaction crooked amigo named Diablo. Showed me the money. Chris Fall Hundos. I showed the work and heard a yell. Unload those. Couple shots to my stomach. Glass ended the deal. Then predict how the tips would be the last meal. Red and blue lights flashing all up in my face. White soups and lanterns all up in my face. Tears falling like somebody opened the mace. I'm breathing heavily like I won the race. As it faded, got dark, and then I saw the light. Dude in black hoodie said, follow me to the right. I said, am I dead and on my way to hell? He said, spirit, only time will tell. He was holding a pit bull and pointing to the gates. I moved. But walk slowly in the bank. I saw a sign that said, ahead is the law. Went ahead and couldn't believe what I saw. I took a trip to heaven one day. On, I took a trip to heaven. 
la 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 I took a trip to heaven upon entering glad he opened the gates about a thousand in front of me lying long wait in front of it all sat a big guy in a chair next to him a black guy with long hair with hair like wool and a body like Debo they both surrounded by birds that look like people when done some people were smiling going through the gate of diamonds while others was going to the elevator crying. On, I dropped to my knees and next to giving the sins and serving the packs. On, the big guy looked down the line and said, it's too late for that. Right. When my turn came up, he told me all the things I did. How I tried to kill, sold drugs, and didn't take care of the kid. Mm. I told him I promised I was going to do better later. He said tomorrow wasn't promised and pointed to the elevator. I said, I need one more chance, please. I promise I'll do my best. He said, one more chance, granted, and put his power to my chest. On, now man. all I can see is yeah. lights adjacent to racks and hear my oh, girl screaming now, thank God he's back. Oh, I took a trip to heaven one day. Yeah. I took a trip to heaven. Come on. La, 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 la. Yeah. I took a trip to heaven. My name is Mark Prophet, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my album is out to the screen here from my album, The Perfect Board from Spoken Word Music, Musical Experience. Thank you, Let's Walk. Give it up for Lord Prophet. He's on his way from New York. I went to Jamaica. Marcia Jackson, Miami, Florida, my way. Of J Jamaica, she also has cities available. And give it up for my man, Spoken Truth, Jay Summers. From Toledo, Ohio. 